It's not going to happen tomorrow. It's going to take a couple of years, isn't it, Aaron? Yeah, uh, right now the, the timeline is that uh, Japan wouldn't begin these releases for about two years. And the expectation is that, um, you know, the, the million cubic meters, more than a million cubic meters of, of the treated radioactive water would be disposed of over several decades. So, you know, th there is some important context to understand. But, um, but like you said, you know, there's been a pretty swift reaction from some of Japan's neighbors. Uh, South Korea has um, strongly condemned um, uh, the, the plan and said that it's a risk to the marine environment and the safety of neighboring countries. Uh, China has asked, asked Japan to, you know, sort of reconsider the plan and, and do a full, a fuller consultation with, you know, stakeholders as well as the International Atomic Energy Agency. Aaron, I mean, China, Korea may be crying foul, but the U.S. says it is in line with global standards and it is unavoidable. It has to be done. Yeah, I mean, the U.S. came out pretty quickly and, and uh, you know, appears to support the plan. You know, this, this, this is something that happens in the industry, and there are some international standards um, for uh, the release of, of treated water. Um, it, it happens on a, on a fairly routine basis um, for, for uh, a lot of reactors globally. So, you know, it, it does appear that, that what Japan is, is planning is in line with those standards. Um, but, you know, there's still a lot of concern um, from, from uh, neighboring countries and even, you know, a lot of local fishermen in, in Japan uh, oppose this plan as well. So, uh, you know, there is, there is opposition to it.